What's going on, guys? I'm your host, Mark Sparks, and I'm here with Jennifer, Rochelle, and Brienne. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. You can get all relaxed. So I want to ask you some questions. Um, see you walking down the street, and I want to say something to you. What's the best way a guy's gotten your attention? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Straightforward. Hello. <laughs> and then what? Well, generally, I would say I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? You mean a conversation? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> wow. So do lines ever work? No. No. Oh, definitely not. Trying too hard. No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Never works? Never. Well, sometimes I'm sure they work. <laughs> if you want to make us laugh, sure, but if you're kind of, if you come off creepy, no. Definitely not. So, what's the worst way a guy off the top has tried to get your attention in a, you know, on the street, in a grocery store? What's an instant no? Whistling or like calling like a cat. None of that. No. Inappropriate touching. Can you explain that, please? <laughs> Sometimes you go to bars, it depends on where you're from, some places. Um, the men seem to think that if they grope the woman or touch them in, in you know, certain areas, that all of a sudden they're going to jump in bed with you. It's not going to happen. Is there any way a guy can play his cards right to get a woman to jump into bed with him on the first night? At a club, as you said. At a club, um, I would start off by buying her lots of drinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and giving her lots of compliments making her feel very special all evening, and then you might have a chance. Now, you said in clubs, now is it a little bit different when a guy approaches you at a club? Because, I mean, you all have this thing where you, oh, we're just going out to dance. Listen, do you really go out by yourself with your girlfriends to dance? No, I'm there to pick up, 100%. I'd high five you. <laughs> what about y'all? I'm there to dance. Yeah, I really am there to dance. Yeah. Even when you were, I mean, you know, at times you, know, you think of when I mean, you're single and you're having fun, you really went to dance? Yeah, I go to dance. Yeah. It's nice to have some eye candy and see some like hot mm -hmm. guys, but I don't go dance with them or anything most of the time. But mm -hmm. you're still there scoping. Yeah, scoping, see, but not that's no, what I mean. intentions. no intentions. Pick up. That's the thing. The possibility's and... always there, yeah. but right. we truly we like to get dressed up, go out, have fun with our girlfriends, dance, but it's not like we're there with the intention, oh, I'm not going to talk to any guys. So the chance is there, but that's not really what brings us out. But outside of a club, in a, another setting, at a library or a coffee shop, Starbucks, if a guy's good looking, is that enough? Well, attraction is always the first thing that you look at, right? I mean, that's, you, that's the first thing you see about the person. You don't know who they are. If they're mm -hmm. good looking, you're going to you know, want to approach them because they are. And then right. find out you know, the personality or what kind of guy they are. So then, I mean, that's up to the person if they want to talk to them or if the opportunity is there. And what do y'all look for when you talk to somebody? I have to be attracted to the guy if I'm going to actually mm -hmm. talk to him. There has to be that level of attraction, exactly. whether right. it be chemistry or whether it be physical. It's right. got to be something to bring me over there or bring him over, right? But he's confident. What That's about? attractive. That's, That's very, very attractive. attractive. Uh, okay. So confidence is something that makes somebody attractive. Can you tell when guys are faking it? Uh, yes. yes. There's a cocky, arrogant, and confident. And, and, three which, different... and which one of those three do you enjoy the most? <laughs> I prefer confident. Arrogance is fun to play with sometimes and tease them a little bit, but I'm still down with the confidence. Hmm. And, and humor, humor's not up there, eh? Humor Humor's is there. Good, yeah. yeah, it's very But important. humor usually comes with confidence. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And bad humor comes with arrogance. Mm -hmm. Very true. <laughs> so, guy gets your number, he calls you up. There's two things he can say. He can say something that's gonna, because you give someone the number because you think, hey, I might want to get to know this guy. So now when I call you on the phone, I have 30 seconds, if that, to either say, yeah, no, I really do want to get to know this guy, or why did I give this guy my number? I'm not a big fan of phone conversation. Yeah, it's more yeah, person yeah. to person. So within the first 30 seconds that they ask me to go grab a coffee, that'd be great. Coffee, um, I'd grab another drink or whatever, and just pay attention one on one. That's where they're going to get me. And if I don't like them, I'm really busy. So you mean y'all just aren't just busy? That's a, that's a, a shoe away? It's us trying no. to be nice. Sometimes we're busy but most of the time. <laughs> but if we're busy, we're busy, gonna, we're gonna busy reschedule, right? Well, what about saying. tomorrow? We'll say something like that. <laughs> She's trying to cover up. No, no, we're busy. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not gonna watch. He won't know that you know. Um, so then we, okay, so we go and sit down. You said this one-on-one -on -one thing, and you, you, so we go for a drink or coffee or tea. What do, you, what do you need to hear in order for me to be able to see you again? Well, I always look for the chemistry. If that chemistry is still there and just as strong, mm -hmm. then I, I'm going to want to see you again. And then you sit down and you obviously you talk about your interests and what you know. See if you have anything in common. Worst first time out with a guy. I had this gentleman. He asked me out. I said, "Okay, no problem." So we went to a very nice, uh, nice restaurant mm -hmm. where it would be, you know, maybe jeans and a nice shirt. So we go to the restaurant and he wears a toque. First trick. 
Take your tikkah. Take your hat off. Was it, win was it winter? It doesn't matter. You're inside. Yes, it was winter. <laughs> Second, answered his phone while I was sitting there and talked to his phone and made plans with somebody else that evening. Third, <laughs> third mistake. This is all within an hour, by the way. Um, decided to tell me about this horrible date he had last night. Yeah. Um, I think the phone thing wow. that you mentioned too, that's so important. If you're on a date, especially a first date, that kind of thing, just put it away. You don't need to, you know, I don't need to know how many friends are calling you and texting you. That's, it just shows like you're not really interested and then it's kind of like, why am I here? It's rude. Like, I, mm -hmm. You'd rather be talking to somebody else kind mm -hmm. of thing. Well, you get up on something else and I always, you know, and there's always this term player getting thrown around. And, uh, you know, oh, that guy's a player. He knows a lot of girls or whatever. Now, when you go start dating a guy, first date, second date, when, because you said you don't need to know about his, how many friends are texting him and all that stuff, but at what point do you, you know, why is he a player? Because he knows, he went, why is it a bad thing that he went on a date the night before he saw you? Um, what he told me to happen, <laughs> that's the problem. He went, and it's uh, called TMI, too much information, definitely went a little overboard with that. <laughs> okay, just say he didn't tell you that. Just say we were on a date, and you know, we're sitting in, and, and you were like, oh, what happened last Saturday? And I was like, well, funny enough, I was on this date, and da 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 ha 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 ha. Is there something wrong with that? Yeah, I would not bring up dates. Just don't. Your attention is for her. Okay. We don't want to hear about your dating history and that you're dating other but it doesn't people. But that doesn't give us more uh, you know, value in your eyes. Like, wow, other, other women want him, so clearly he's something good about it. it doesn't... If you push that, for me, I'm going to push you away. I'm be like, well, yeah. you have fun with the other ladies because I'm going to wait for somebody who's going to pay attention mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about your other dates. Um, relationships. Let's move into that for a little bit. So. Y what do you see, want a guy to do in the relationship? Are you a hand holder? Are you a hand on the back? Do you want him to be physical with you? Do you want him to not touch you? Like, what's a pro? You said appropriate touching, and clearly in the club that's not appropriate touching that we're talking about, but what is appropriate? What is expected? Well, if you're already dating, I guess holding hands is okay, but I hate PDI, like public dis display of affection, no way. Because like kissing in front of everybody, I just don't like kiss on the cheek, sure, or holding hands, sure, but I hate like just big hugs and, you know, just showing off to everybody that we're dating. It's just like, okay, just relax, like, you know, not on the street, not in front of people. Just, I like to keep it subtle. <laughs> See, and I'm different. If I'm 100% into somebody and they're my main focus, I don't care who's watching. I want to kiss them, I'm going to kiss them. Doesn't matter where, a grocery store, movie theater, club, on the street, I'm proud to be with them. So I have no problems. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and go all, you know, X-rated well, in the middle of the I mean. street like, corner. I mean, but a pike, sure, no, no. I'm not going to go full on make out in the middle of a grocery store when well, there's, there's little kids, right? Yeah, it's a little <laughs> mini. I think it's one of the things that I haven't talked about is breakups. Because they always talk about relationships and, you know, there's other stuff I want to get to, but um, how can a guy... <laughs> I just heard a story. Got a story. Is it, you know, is it wrong if I sent... You know, one of the guys wrote a, a note to us. Is it wrong if I send a note to, my, to this girl on Facebook um, to break up? How so long have you been answer? dating? Mm -hmm. yeah, and what was your main form of communication? Hmm, explain. Well, there's some people who main form of communication is through cell phones, by talking on the phone, mm -hmm. um, Blackberry Messenger, um, text messaging, email, Facebook, MySpace, you name it. Your main form of communication. Now, if you've only been dating a couple weeks, Facebook, go ahead. Go ahead, break up on Facebook. But if you're going into a couple months, at least give her or him the respect and do it face to face. Are, are, you, are you two ladies, are you more relationship people? Or are you more, as a woman, like, okay, this guy's gonna be around me, he's gonna be with me, and then inevitably he's gonna make physical, there's gonna be a physical relationship, and I'll just call that, for lack of a better term, sex. Is that a commitment thing? Is that something that happens? Is that something in between? I find it a commitment yeah, thing. I yeah, I love it. It's always been a commitment thing for sure. How does sex come up? in Because it, it, before it happens, you have to, stuff happens before you have sex. So how do you, how does it, do you talk about it? Like when you find a guy, you've been dating him, we've been going out for a month. Mm -hmm. Saying, all right, you know, it's just you and me now, okay. Um, and then you find condoms in my back pocket. Do you go, oh my gosh, he's like, is that, is that a bad thing? Is that well, a good that thing? That depends. Mm -hmm. That depends. He's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Depends the kind of guy he is. I mean, like, if since the beginning he's been showing signs of that's all he wants, this and that, then I won't, I won't be impressed. But then again, why would I stay? It depends. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because for me, it's like I have to be dating somebody before it even goes that far. Okay. So, and it's not necessarily that I want them to talk about it. It kind of just happens. Like, you feel the other person's comfort level, right? And then 
it kind of, while it's gonna happen or whatever, you can always say stop or if you're comfortable, but a conversation, I think it would be kind of awkward because you should already know the person's opinion or view based on that. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're getting to that point, it should be something that you can exactly. kind of like sense and feel off of each other. And right. if you're not at that point, then she's probably not ready to go I mean, there. Yeah, you know, we go back to picking a pickup, a meeting you and, and acquiring a number and, and just that whole beginning phase. Um, as much as he's saying, say hi, I see you on the street, come say hi. If you're walking in that direction, and I run up behind you and I'm like, hi, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, you probably uh, shock us a little yeah, bit, yeah. especially if you're coming up from behind. Well, that's but, when you cover up with like humor or something, mm -hmm. you know, make a joke. You're like, you know, hey, uh, you dropped something, or I don't know. Just mm -hmm. take a card out of your pocket and go, you dropped this. Trust me, I've had some guys do some pretty funny things. The other day, I was going for a coffee and I had to cross the street and it was like busy traffic. I had this one guy come in the middle of the road, stop traffic for me, and he's like, okay, proceed. And he's just like, anything for you. And I was just like, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. But thank you, it helped. I crossed the street, but. It's a little over time. Yeah, I was just like, uh -huh, thanks. So, what's the difference? Okay, so this is the thing as a guy, we're like, okay, I don't wanna be your friend. I'm, a lot of guys will tell you they do, and just, <laughs> but I, I do wanna be friendly. That a guy who thought, oh, this is being friendly enough to be able to get to know her. Clearly it wasn't. So where is that? Well, it wasn't friendly because he was just like, he stopped the traffic and then I crossed. He's like, anything for you? Hey, baby, you know, like that's where it crossed the line. If it was just like, you know, he stopped and like, hey, go ahead, you know, there you go. I saw that they weren't going to stop for you. And then he was, you know, conversation. Then that would have been nice. Okay, thanks. I really appreciate that. But when hey, he started, yeah, hey, baby, go ahead. Anything for you? Like, let me just watch you walk away. Mm -hmm. No, it's not going to work. Getting out of relationships. It's hard. like when, right, it is hard. Can you be friends with a guy afterwards? Yes. Like really? I think you can after time. You, right when you break up, you need that time apart. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, in the future, maybe. But if you try to be friends right off the bat, like, let's break up, but we can still be friends. It's not really going to One is always hoping work. for more. Exactly. For to, to go back. So I like think it benefits depends. benefits of sorts? Anything. <laughs> Even dating again or thinking that it could lead up and maybe we're just going through something. It's ridiculous. Yeah. No. It depends on, I think, how long you've been seeing that person. Right. So mm -hmm. if you've only been seeing them for a couple of weeks, then, you know, it's not so bad. <clears throat> but if it's a long-term relationship, no, no. You need your space. Yeah, you definitely you need space for a while. Okay. So I guess I want to ask each of you, you know, take 30 seconds, and what would you say to a guy, like, and remember, this is about building men who are, who really want to be good guys, who really want to have something more in their life to get to with beautiful women who are, you know, what would you say? For me, the biggest thing for me is pay attention to me. If I'm there with you, pay attention to me. Put your Blackberry down, put your laptop down. No matter what it is, I'm there for you. So pay attention. That's my biggest problem. Smile a lot. Love that. I love it when people smile. It's always terrible when you're sitting there supposed to read these vibes and stuff that everybody's talking about. <laughs> How do you read that? Like seriously. Can you give you something to read. <laughs> Anything, show, show me what you want me to tell me, talk to me, but most of all, pay attention to me when I'm there. Right. That's my, my biggest thing. Rochelle. I think confidence is really the most important thing, so just relax a little bit and talk to me like you would to any other person that you meet or any other person that you know and just really be yourself and even if you have like whatever dorky qualities or things that you think, oh, she's not going to like this, just... You know what I mean? Everyone's like a person. Everyone has like funny qualities and like geeky ones, but just be yourself and I'll, like, I'll appreciate that. When someone's trying too hard or when it, it just doesn't feel relaxed, it's not, it's not enjoyable cool. for me. I agree with both, you know, be yourself. Uh, another pet peeve that I have is that a lot of guys are never on time. And it's not like 10 minutes late or 15, it's like an hour or half an hour. Like, be on time, show the girl that she's important. Like, you wanna see her, you wanna go on this date, you wanna get to know her. Mm -hmm. And then when you know you take her out, don't ignore her and be on the phone with your friends the whole time. Like, like they said, pay attention, talk, like put your phone down. If you clearly took the time out of your day to come and see me, then see me, talk to me. Like, don't just make me sit here and just watch you. And you know, talk, don't be quiet. That's, I, I don't like guys who are very, quiet and not talkative. I understand you can be shy, but I'm very talkative. So if I'm just talking to myself, it's like, then why am I here? Right, right, you know? right. So that's what I'd have to say. And hmm. if you have something nice to say, you know, you, if you ever got those messages after the date where they say all these nice, sweet things, but it's a text message, mm -hmm. just say it. It's a lot nicer. You mean be vulnerable? Um, <laughs> yes. 
we're just as vulnerable as you guys are. I don't know. We do a lot of sticking out our necks. We have to ask. We have to ask again. We have to say yes. <laughs> I think that's a really good point. Oh, I you. love when I go on a date with someone and then after, even if they, like, I personally, I love, like, my Blackberry Messenger, so even it's on that, but obviously if you're spending time with a girl, you'll know what she likes. Right. Um, definitely if you just call her, text her, and be like, you know, I had fun. I love that. That, it's, I don't know. Those are nice. Yeah, really they're those, really nice. Those, those nice, those really mm -hmm. deep things that they try to say mm -hmm. on a text message oh, yeah. or a Blackberry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Been through that? It's because we read a book and we saw it, so we wanted to share it with you. <laughs> Which is why we don't believe it, because it's like, why didn't you say that to me when we were there? It's like, right. I had to go home, think yeah. about it, like, okay, so she's like going to present in that moment and just yeah, be there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that yeah, exactly. Yeah. And instead of trying to make a text message or Facebook your main form of communication, call her. The art of talking is lost, so call her. We want to hear your voice. Ladies, I really like to thank you for being present with me and uh, sharing with the guys uh, some stuff from your secret conversations. And thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. And... Uh, and got a lot of info and a lot of stuff to think about. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you.